And look, most women want to feel small around their man in general, but you don't want to get too big to the point What's up guys, Dom back from Daily Sofa, and today we are here with another one. This one's gonna be a little bit different than the content I typically make, but bear with me here. How to be more attractive at the gym. Let's dive right into it. So guys, please, like I say before every video, like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Rep your city, rep your country. I like to see where my demographic is, who's watching my videos. I get people from around the world commenting. It's just really cool for me, and I do appreciate when you do it. So leave a comment down below. It also helps with the algorithm as well. Okay, so why are people at the gym generally? Why are, and I'm gonna do this more towards my male demographic audience, which is uh, probably 99% male. In all fairness, shout out my female audience if you're watching this. Sorry, this one is not for you. Some people want to become stronger. They want to do powerlifting. Uh, maybe they were bullied as kids and they just want to feel stronger in general. Others want to do this for a living. They might want to become fitness influencers or they want to get into the fitness industry. It's their job, bodybuilders, whatever. Some people do it for health. Some people want to live a healthy, long lifestyle. And all those reasons are good reasons and they are reasons that you see people in the gym every day, but the majority of people want to look and feel better for themselves and for the opposite sex or same sex, whatever you are into. But this one's gonna be pertaining to the men trying to get the women. So what actually happens, what I find that happens is what guys think women are attracted to aren't necessarily what they're attracted to. And I will start with the number one thing to look more attractive at the gym. Don't get too big. Now, I am fully aware that it is very difficult to get too big, but what do I mean by this? Now, people are obsessed with this bulking, cutting culture, all right? When it comes to bodybuilding, it is a great route to go down, but is it going to necessarily make you more attractive? No, because what happens, especially when it comes to younger men, is what I see is they start with this dirty bulk. They'll want it to be a clean bulk. They'll always try to make it a clean bulk, but somewhere down the line, they end up eating a little bit dirty. They end up eating desserts, they end up eating chips, they end up eating out, they might drink here and there, whatever it is. They bring down that cardio level and then what happens? Yes, they put on more muscle, they see that scale go up, they are motivated but their face is getting significantly fatter, their love handles are hanging down, just right off everything and you know what? It's just not a good look. And look, most women want to feel small around their man in general but you don't want to get too big to the point where they feel like they're with a fat slob because yeah, they'll say they're with a big guy, but then there'll be that skinny dude who's got the great facial structure because he didn't put on too much extra fat and they're looking at him the whole time. So it is good to put on a little bit of muscle, but try and stay fairly lean. Don't get too big. It's not going to necessarily make you more attractive to every woman out there. Number two, don't get too into the gym bro culture. Now there are exceptions to all these rules. There are women out there who love, you know, those power lifters, those bodybuilders, those gym bros. Uh, they like the stringers and things like that. But most of the time, they don't care. You're gonna see the guy who gets the most attention, who's he's either in a t-shirt or a cutoff sleeve with a little bit of muscle, just kind of doing his own thing. And when he's on the cardio machines, talks to the girl beside him. They don't give a shit if you can deadlift 600 pounds. They don't care if you can uh, bench press 300 pounds. They don't care how, uh, how much pre-workout and creatine you take, they don't care. They really don't care. Don't get too into that gym bro culture because it's actually gonna backtrack you a little bit more. Uh, one of the things I noticed uh, that really backtracked me were the stringers, you know, um, not a good luck. Stick with the t-shirts, stick with the cutoffs, stick with the uh, 
Nike wear, the so-called Nike wear. That's what's going to work best. Number three is talk to people. I know it's weird to say because I'll, you're going to hear most of the time at the gym, you're there to work, blah, 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 all these things. But we're trying to look more attractive at the gym. And when you know people at the gym, women see that. Women want a man who has status in whatever department they're in or whatever venue they're in at the time. So you don't need to be best friends with everyone. You don't need to spend hours on end talking to people. But you know, when you walk in the gym, especially when you become more familiar with uh, certain faces, things like that, just try and make friends with everyone. And you never know, it's gonna be good connections for you as well. Women notice that, women see when other people know who you are and who knows, you know what I mean? After they've seen you a couple times, you guys might have a mutual friend, they might ask that friend, hey, that guy's pretty cute. Do you know his name? And it goes from there, buddy. So talk to people, trust me, don't overdo it, but talk to people, it's gonna help. And number four, cardio is your best friend. Cardio is your best friend because when you go into that gym, most of the time, women are gonna be doing cardio, the treadmills, the bikes, whatever it is. They do their leg days and they do their cardio days. This is gonna give you a lot more ample opportunity to, hey, converse here and there, actually talk to them, let them know what your name is. I had a cute guy beside me on the treadmill, they might say. But one of the biggest reasons, and this goes back to the first thing I said, it keeps you lean. This is going back to, hey, don't get too big. Women want a lean, muscular man. Now, you don't have to be stage lean. Stage lean is too much. There's a limit to getting too lean as well. But sticking in between the 8 to 15% body fat range, 8 to 15%, 15% is still very lean. I know um, videos and fitness people will, will make it think like, hey, 15%, you're not that lean, but it is very lean. Most people are not 15% body fat. That will have your body looking like you're beach ready most of the time. And a big thing that people don't think of is it's also going to keep your face slim and not puffy. Your facial genetics are going to be, or your facial structure, sorry about that, is going to be more pronounced. When women see that, it is more attractive. And that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I am out of here. Ciao.